I don't, I'm not sure I could even wrap my brain around the size of something like this. Hey, what's up? It's Indy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today, we're going to watch a video called Tata's Business Empire. And this was recommended to me, so I have no idea what it's about, but we're going to find out together. So before I talk anymore, let's just get started. <laughs> Bombay House. This is a simple looking head office of the Tata Group in Mumbai, India. But Tata Group is anything but simple. Started as a small trading company by Jamshed Ji Tata in 1868, Tata Group now has more employees than Toyota, Coke, Facebook, Microsoft and Google combined. It now operates in over 100 countries. So let's tighten our seatbelts and take a world tour to witness the remarkable business empire of Tata Group. Oh my gosh. Our first stop is North America. Here Tata Group owns the luxury hotel Taj Campton Palace in San Francisco, Taj Boston and one of the world's finest and New York's iconic hotel, The Pair. Tata's Tetley Tea is the second largest tea company in US and largest in Canada. They also own popular brands like Good Earth and America's third largest coffee company, 8 O'Clock Coffee. Tata's IT service company, TCS, oh operates God. 24 offices in North America. And while their animation and design lab, Tata Elixir, also operates in 8 plus locations in the region. In manufacturing sector, the group operates a soda ash mining company in Wyoming, INO mining company in Quebec, Canada, steel manufacturing facilities in Ohio and Pennsylvania, and also a coffee production plant. In all, Tata Group employs over 20,000 people in North America, about three times more than how many people Microsoft employs in India. Now let's travel to South America. PCS employs more than 8,000 people in eight countries in South America. The group is also an investor in the first submarine fiber cable network between US and Brazil. Tata has also owned what? world's largest oh subsea fiber cable network. Today, 25% of world's internet routes travel over Tata's subsea networks. From South America, oh let's travel to Africa I didn't and even land know there were in the port city networks. of South Africa, Cape Town. Here, Tata Group owns the historic luxury hotel Taj Cape Town. In nearby Zambia, they own Taj Famozzi, one of the most luxurious hotels of the country. Tata's also operate two wind farms in South Africa and a hydroelectric power project in Zambia. The group also owns Jokels, South Africa's third largest tea company. Tata Trucks and Buses are one of the top sellers in Zambia, South Africa I've and seen Kenya. Those. In manufacturing sector, Tata owns a chemical plant in Magadi, Kenya, which is Africa's largest soda ash manufacturer, commercial vehicle assembly plant and a steel plant in South Africa and finally a manufacturing and a power plant in Mozambique. From Mozambique, we will move to London, this is Buckingham crazy. Palace, Queen's official residence. Close to the palace, Tata's own the luxurious Taj 51 Buckingham Gate Suites. The hotel also has the world's first Jaguar suite for all the Jaguar lovers. Nearby, the St. James hotel. Court Hotel is also owned by the group. Tata's Tetley is the largest tea company in the UK. Their other European tea brands include Vitex, a popular brand in Poland, Jemka, the market leader in Czech Republic, and Grand, a coffee brand in Russia. Tata Steel is one of Europe's largest steel maker is, is and TCS me out with all this, like, has been awarded as the best employer in Europe. Information. Jaguar Land Rover is also owned by Tata's and is the largest manufacturer of premium vehicles in Britain. The group also wow. operates design centers in London and Paris 
and one of the world's largest e-learning company in UK, Germany and Switzerland. Tata employs around 60,000 people in Europe and is also UK's biggest industrial employer. To end it all, Tata's also own a relatively small company called British Salt in the UK. An Indian wow. company owns British Salt. Quite ironic. If one remembers Gandhi's Salt March carried out against the British Raj only 88 years ago. Now let's travel all the way to Sydney, Australia. Here in Sydney, TCS began its it first operations in Australia and now the company operates across Australia and New Zealand with over 10,000 employees and clients like Qantas, Telstra and Commonwealth Bank. Tata's also own popular Australian coffee machine brand Map and operate data centers across Australia through their partnership with Next DC. The group also holds stake in Carborough Downs coal project in Queensland, Australia. Finally, we have reached Asia. Let's start in the desert sands of the Middle East. Tata's Range Rover is one of the most sought after four-wheel drives wow. in the region. Tata Motors cool is video. also a leader in the medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment in GCC countries. While TCS has multiple offices in the Middle East, including an all-women IT services center in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, the group also owns Titan. Titan Watches are leading brand in Oman and Bahrain. They also own logistics company in UAE and the luxurious city hotel Taj Dubai near popular landmarks like Palm Jumeirah. Finally, Voltas, wow. Tata's leading air conditioning brand, has completed major mechanical and air conditioning projects that include Burj Khalifa, Dubai, international airports in UAE and Bahrain, Ferrari Experience, and F1 race track in Abu Dhabi, Southeast Asia. From deserts of UAE, we will move to South Korea. Here, Tata owns South Korea's second largest heavy commercial vehicle manufacturer, I can't even wrap my brain Tata around a company Daewoo. that's this large. In Singapore, name, Tata's just, steel plant really. is the largest single cut and bend steel operations worldwide. While the group is also the largest producer of long steel products in Thailand. Tata's also own stake in oil and gas blocks and coal reserves in Indonesia and are developing power generation projects in Myanmar and Vietnam and even operate a life sciences research company and own plantations in Singapore and Indonesia. Even Tata's Voltas has executed engineering projects like New Hong Kong International Airport and Cyberport Business Park in Hong Kong, China. Here TCS has six global delivery centers Tata's own two rolling mills, a refractories factory, an auto parts factory, green tea manufacturing plant, and also have a Jaguar Land Rover assembly plant. We have reached South Asia, the beautiful and scenic Maldives. Here we will find the lush Taj Coral Reef with white sands and scenic view. Oh, Moving ahead hotel. to Sri Lanka, I they Taj owns the picturesque Taj Bentota and two wow. more hotels in Colombo. Tata's also provide telecommunication services in Nepal and Sri Lanka and have even deployed a hydro project in Bhutan. After our long world tour, we have finally reached India. Here, TCS is the largest Indian company. TCS becomes the first Indian company to hit $100 billion in market cap. Tata Motors is a leader in commercial vehicles segment. Titan Company is India's largest manufacturer of branded watches. Tata has also run largest jewelry store chain Tanishk. While their Tata Power is India's largest integrated power company, Tata's also own steel plants, tea plantations, automobile manufacturing units, okay. chemical factories, and even own mobile networks and DTH company Tata Sky. Not only that, they operate airline Vistara and also manufacture this, this defense video helicopters goes on and, on and, and on and on. Even Starbucks in India is jointly owned by the Tatas. Tata oh has not only created a massive business empire, 
but also multiple social institutions like cancer treatment centers, mathematics and science research institutes, and also wow. the first planned industrial city of India, Jamshedpur. 66% of the group shares are held by a charity trust. Across the world, the company has been involved in multiple social programs. Tata is truly an incredible company and has traveled a long way from Mumbai to be now present all across the world. All I can say is, this is Tata's business, business empire. empire. Ow. <laughs> So, Tata is enormous and they own stuff everywhere, basically. I'm not a business person and I'm not going to pretend I know anything about business, but I did not know that, <laughs> that there was this company in India that was so massive and that they employed more people in the US than Microsoft employs in India. That is a fascinating fact to me. and. It's funny, I was just writing a, like a bio for a uh, marketing website for, you know, my brand. And I was trying to figure out how I wanted to word what my goals were. And one of my goals is to kind of increase awareness of the relationship and to increase the, the friendship and appreciation between the United States and India, of course. and. I'm small, I don't really know exactly how I'm going to do that, but it is an overall goal. And so this fact that I just, the fact that I learned this today fits in really well with what I was writing about earlier, you know, because I was talking about how India and the US can cooperate being two growing, I mean the United States has obviously been grown for a while as a country. But India is developing and very rapidly and much further along than any of us Americans realize. So I just think it's really, really fascinating to learn that a company in India has done such a good thing for 20,000 Americans that a company in the United States hasn't even done it. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's kind of hard for me to explain it, you know. Microsoft doesn't employ as many people in India as Tata employs in the US. But of course, if I had to guess, Tata is a much bigger company than Microsoft. Either way, it's really, really interesting. And the fact that they own so many different kinds of businesses is really cool. They got coffee, they got tea, they got cars, they got oil, they got soda ash, they got... And also, am I the only one who didn't know that there's a giant underground network of cables that... <laughs> connects countries like what how did they build that that must have been so crazy did i say underground i meant underwater undersea either way my mind is blown <laughs> this was extremely interesting to watch and i actually want to watch more stuff like this in the near future about india and india's growing economy and businesses so that's that thanks a lot for watching i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed Thank you to all my subscribers. If you're subscribed, you guys are the best. I appreciate your support so much. And if you're not a subscriber, consider clicking that button for me to uh, get you know notified and stuff if you like my channel. <laughs> if not, it's cool, I understand. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for my playlist and have a good one.